Hey, good morning. Uh, trying to get this done quick because I need to be on the road to work. But uh, um, I figured out, I think, what caused my headache. Um, it was, uh, we have one of those adjustable frame sort of beds and we had it on a slight incline and I think I was like kind of pushing my head into the thing combined with the stress of things lately at work and um you know just uh our weather had changed here a little bit recently and so I think the combination of things just uh did me in as far as that um but it got me to thinking about something for today um you know there are all kinds of statements out there like don't sweat the small stuff and there was a book i read recently probably need to reread called atomic habits based off the idea that um you know an atomic explosion is a massive thing but it happens from tiny little particles reacting and um the concept in that book was that you basically take and um make little small incremental changes and gradually uh they don't really push the needle a whole lot in terms of you feeling a difference or feeling some uh great big drastic sort of change um and gradually over time it makes a big difference and um you know i i find that it seems like those ideas are in conflict with another person that I've read and a lot of my friends and peers and running friends read. Um, if you read like Goggins, Goggins talks about how the, there's a governor on our minds that, um, keeps us from doing the full amount because our body wants to relax out on the things. And I don't necessarily think those are like, in opposition I think those ideas can work together I think though the majority of people haven't gotten to the point where they're really even close to the governor that would uh, keep them from using everything they've got in reserve um, and in fact most people don't get to that point because they don't push that far um, me I'm one of those folks that I want I want to go with gusto like a sprinter and just get it done quickly in a short amount of time <clears throat> and not everything can be done that way um uh i remember one of the experiences when i was thinking about my grandfather and now uh thought about my grandmother and in her little community of cofield north carolina um there was a race like a bicycle race and they were just trying to encourage folks to you know get out there and be active and do something and so there was this bicycle race and i wanted to do it because i had learned how to ride a bicycle and i get out there and i just start pedaling 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 with all my might because i'm gonna finish this race like in record time you know i'm just gonna get it done i was real young at the time uh, unfortunately I haven't changed a lot in some of those ideas of just push through and get it done real quick and I found nowadays if I calculated it maybe I got about a mile mile and a half and I was just whooped whooped like a dog and my grandmother slowly comes up alongside me and she's like um, let me show you something and she showed me the the concept of coasting that you pedal for a little while get some momentum and ride on that momentum for a little while and then begin pedaling again so that you're not constantly wearing yourself out but yet you're still experiencing progress or the fruits of earlier work um but you can't coast for too long because you come to a dead stop and I think that's akin to uh, a concept in scripture. Um, one of the concepts in scripture is be faithful in the little things and then God will give you greater things. And uh, in two 
if not more of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they mention the faith of a mustard seed, a tiny little grain of a seed that when grown becomes this big bush of the garden, um, almost like a, a small tree in a sense. And so uh, being faithful in the little things, there is a scriptural concept there. Uh, and the idea of coasting, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and shall not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. So that's all I got for this morning, but uh, feeling a lot better and hopefully be ready to put y'all some quality content out there for the weekend. So till next time, keep it PG.